week. The beach at Fort Stevens State Park turned into a makeshift laboratory and a classroom today as a team of scientists descended on the 40 foot carcass of a sperm whale. The creature washed up over the weekend and has been quite the tourist attraction ever since, smell and all. Be thankful smell -o vision hasn't been invented yet. And within the last hour, we received the results of the necropsy done on the whale. Evidence showed the whale died after being hit by a ship. It was a male around 20 years old and had been dead for some time, we're told, before coming ashore. Environmental reporter Cale Williams made his way to the beach this morning as crews began the work to figure out how the whale died. And this marks the inaugural segment of a series that we'll hopefully use just once. The story is proud to present Kale and the Whale. Roughly two dozen scientists have been working all day behind me using large knives and hooks to take samples from the dead sperm whale that washed up on Saturday. They're hoping to figure out how it died and what that can tell us about how it lived. The necropsy is an attempt to kind of determine the cause of death as well as the health of the whale at the time that it died. It washed up at Fort Stevens State Park over the weekend, just down from the shipwreck of the Peter Iredale. And if you thought the shipwreck brought out the crowds, well, you haven't seen a giant dead whale on the beach. Sperm whales don't usually wash up during the winter and aren't super common on the Oregon coast. About half the whales that wash up on Oregon's coast are grays, and another 13% are humpbacks. That's according to a federal database. Researchers were busy almost all day Monday taking blood samples, along with samples from the lungs and heart. Those will help determine how the whale died. While it did have a sizable gash on its side, Burke said it would take time to figure out if the whale was hit by a ship or if it got tangled in fishing gear. While the whale's necropsy was not for the faint of stomach, the procedure offered a rare educational opportunity. Anand Gawarakar brought his young son Pranav from Portland so they could get a look at the action. I've seen it in, the, in books, they read about it in books, and uh, I thought this was a great opportunity for him to see the creature. It's so big and, and I didn't get to see a whale and I didn't see, get to see it inside. Burke said while the whale's death was sad, the animal didn't die in vain. Today has been a really good opportunity to teach people about sperm whales, about their populations, and it's kind of turned into a living classroom out here. Now, Burks told me that it would be up to the State Parks Department to figure out what to do with the whale. But given that it's 40 feet long and weighs roughly 20 tons, they'll probably let it decompose where it sits. Upwind from the whale, I'm Cale Williams, KGW News.